What happens if you get GTA Plus for only a dollar? That's the question we'll be answering in this video because for the first time ever, Rockstar have discounted GTA Plus by 80% to just 99 cents. And this is supposed to serve as an introductory offer for those who have yet to check out GTA Plus. So you can actually find this offer on the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Store. Remember that Grand Theft Auto Plus is only available for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and S. So if you're still playing on a PS4 or an Xbox One, this obviously isn't something that is going to be available to you. And as you guys can see there, this is what it looks like for me, where it says GTA Plus intro month discount offer PS5 99 cents. And then there is a little bit of info that is important, kind of like the fine print. It says this promotion opens on May 23rd, so that was about three days ago, at 9 p.m. GMT, and closes in just a couple of days on May 30th, 2023, at 8.59 GMT. This is a paid for ongoing subscription. You'll be charged a recurring fee of $5.99 every month until you cancel the subscription. Price is subject to change. Now, you can cancel your subscription at any time so that your subscription will expire at the end of the then current billing period. This will stop future payments of the subscription fees, but you will not receive a refund for payments already. So long story short, what you can do here, and this is honestly what I would recommend you do. If you don't have GTA Plus, you should honestly take advantage of this because right off the bat, you're going to get $500,000. You're going to get instant access to free vehicles and free properties, as well as other outfits, liveries, and cosmetic items. So you might as well take advantage of it for just a dollar. And then if there's anything else that's on top of that, you might as well take advantages of those offers too. This is what I would do. I would sign up for GTA Plus. You're given everything instantaneously, and then you can cancel right on the spot. So given that the latest month of GTA Plus rewards actually started back on May 11th, and Rockstar say that a single membership is 28 days long, it appears that you'll be able to claim not only the set of perks that are going on right now, but the one that is also set on June 8th. We'll actually talk about that in a little bit because it might not necessarily be on June 8th. So in theory, you would get two GTA Plus months benefits for less than a dollar instead of just short of 12 bucks for $11.98. So at the end of the day, you would get a million dollars of cash for free. You would get access to member-only shark cards. You would get access to whatever free vehicle Rockstar is giving away, whatever free property they decide to give you, as well as all the other clothing, cosmetic items, liveries, outfits, and more for just a dollar. And the important thing is that you cancel it because if you do sign up and you forget about it, you'll be billed every single period. That's probably how Rockstar gets you there. Now you might be asking, why is Rockstar doing this? Well, I think it's because GTA Plus is doing really well. So last week on the Take-Two Interactive earnings call, Rockstar's parent company reported that GTA Plus was doing very well. In fact, CEO Strauss Zelnick claimed that GTA Plus has also seen continued growth and they said that it has a positive reception. So if GTA Plus is already doing well, why would they not wanna try and lure more people in with just a $1 price tag? And even if they only get a small percentage of people in for this dollar price tag, there might be a handful that say, you know what, I like GTA Plus and I wanna keep paying for it. And I'm pretty sure that's what Rockstar's end goal is here. Now, speaking of the next GTA Plus event period, there is something interesting going on with this. And I can't really pinpoint whether it has to do with the next Grand Theft Auto Online update or whether it has to do with Rockstar sort of clearing the runway so that they can make an announcement for GTA 6 or some other Rockstar Games title or project that they might have up their sleeve. Because during the last Grand Theft Auto Online event period, Rockstar kind of made a mistake. Some people are calling it a typo where they quote unquote extended the GTA Plus event period to expire on Monday, June 12th. And for the entire history of GTA Plus, it is never expired on a Monday. It is always expired on a Wednesday, and then we get a new one on a Thursday. So many believe that Rockstar was extending it 
so that they could have a Grand Theft Auto Online update come out the next day on Tuesday, which would be June 13th. Now, as we also talked about in a previous video, that would be a little suspicious as well, because over the last couple of years, Rockstar has not come out with a June update. It has always been in the month of either July or August. In fact, the last update that Rockstar has actually had come out officially in the month of June, and ironically enough, would be on the exact same date, is Grand Theft Auto Online Gun Running that came out on June 13th, 2017. Every year after that, the summer update has happened in either July or it's happened in August. In 2018, we had GTA Online After Hours that released on July 24th, 2018. Then in 2019, we had the Diamond Casino and Resort update that came out on July 23rd, 2019. In 2020, we had the Los Santos Summer Special, which came out on August 11th, 2020. In 2021, we had Los Santos Tuners coming out on July 20th, 2021. And last year, in 2022, we had the Criminal Enterprises update, which came out on July 26th, 2022. So you can see there, it's been basically five or six years since Rockstar has introduced an update that has come in the month of June. So you can see where players are getting a little bit suspicious here. And it looks like Rockstar might be doing this to clear the runway a little bit. Now, I have no idea if this is connected in any way, shape, or form to why Rockstar is deciding to do some sort of discount or monthly intro offer for GTA+. Plus. Maybe they're doing it simply because it's sort of the start of summer. It's really the time when more and more people are getting off of work and school. I, I don't know what Rockstar's plan or agenda is here, but there certainly is a lot of interesting things going on, not only with what's happening on their parent company's earnings call with now them sort of having that typo or accidentally leaking that it's going to be extended then having this intro month discount offer of only a dollar i don't know there's a lot that seems to be going on here and when there's smoke there's usually fire and that seems to be what we're seeing here and when i'm recording this video rockstar have not posted any new updates on either their newswire or social media the only thing we've seen is what they have typically been doing over the last couple of Fridays, and that has been highlighting their typical Circo Loco record posting, sort of their own music label, but that really doesn't move the needle in terms of anyone, and then just highlighting the things they've already talked about in their current event week. So I'll, of course, be sure to keep you guys posted, but I want to hear from you in those comments down below. Because GTA Plus is now only a dollar, is that something you're interested in? Do you still not care about it? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.